Okay, so hi students, how are you? Uh, I'm Judy Millison, I'm the MPA director, and I have with me Marla Robertson, the program coordinator and community assistance program director. And I didn't realize that you were this much taller than me until we were right here. No, you're fine. <laughs> uh, so as we get this started, we're gonna try to keep it brief, but we wanted to let you know that we are not professional actors and we are not in a professional recording booth. Uh, and so we just want to make sure that our students have everything that they need in order to start off the semester um, on a positive foot in spite of everything that's happening around us. So we're going to go through uh, the orientation, um, a little bit of information about the orientation, introduce you to our faculty, talk to you about our values, and we'll create a, a number of these videos. We're trying to keep them uh, in about a five minute windows so that you're not overloaded with information. So let us first start by introducing you to the faculty. Um, we have uh, Dr. Jerry Gordon, he's an instructor in our program and a Riley Fellow, uh, Dr. Gibbs Knotts, and he is uh, now the Interim Dean of the College of Humanities and Social, Social Science. Sciences. I know it's the SS, but I sometimes can't remember what those are. Uh, we're also really pleased to welcome our newest faculty member, uh, Dr. Uh, Hyo Kyung Kwok, who will be starting with us this fall. She's going to be teaching classes in um, uh, research methods and policy. And then, of course, there's me and then Dr. Matt Nowlin, who's also on faculty for our environmental studies program. Mr. Bob O'Neill, who is an instructor in our program and also a fellow at the Riley Center. Dr. Uh, Doug Rivett, he teaches classes in our urban, um, urban planning certificate, uh, primarily history and theory of urban planning, but also our GIS class. Um, we have Dr. Kendra Stewart, who's a professor and also uh, the director of the Riley Center. Dr. Maren Trockman, who is assistant professor here, teaches classes in human resources. Um, she teaches a housing policy class and also our introductory class. And then, of course, we have Marla Robertson, who uh, is uh, our, our program coordinator and our CAP director. We have some adjunct faculty who regularly teach in our program. Scott Barheit he teaches our land use law class. Amy Barrett, who does history and theory of urban planning. Steve Bedard, who you'll meet when we take you take your financial management class. And then Jorge Luna, who helps us out with our uh, a transportation class. Um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about our public service mission. So primarily our mission here is to prepare public service leaders, whether you work in the nonprofit sector or whether you work in uh, local government, or even if you work in the private sector, um, but to do so in ways that honor and value a, a public service perspective in that we are working to advance uh, the public trust. And so we, our curriculum emphasizes both theoretical and practical applications. Uh, we also nurture this environment of service and this commitment to service. And then all of this is done with uh, a, a commitment and an, an, an understanding that the work we do in the public sector uh, requires collaboration, co-creation, and partnerships among the communities we're working with in order to provide uh, services. Um, our values in the program focus on um, democratic institutional values. There is a lot of co-creation um, that we do in the program. And so outside of just teaching um, our students to embody these values in the workforce, we also practice these values in the program. Um, professional values and competence and excellency, um, ethical values, as well as social justice values um, in respect to human dignity, fairness, and social equity. So I think we'll just toggle a little bit on this one. Um, and so what, it is, what do we really care about? So you know our, our mission and you know our values and all of those things do guide our decision making. But what is it that's at the core of what we do and what is it the things that we really, really care about? And so one of the things that uh, we are paying specific attention to this year and into the future um, and naming it and calling it out is uh, paying attention to racial justice and our role as public sector leaders, as leaders in general, to actively attack systems of oppression that have 
uh, repeatedly and historically advanced the, that have advanced the well-being of some while further marginalizing others, which we know is just completely unacceptable. In the execution of that mission, we, we value and care deeply about kindness, that kindness really matters. Um, kindness matters in how we engage with the public, how we engage with one another, how we think about the work, and it feeds this intellectual curiosity, which is up there as well, um, when it comes to making connections with those that are very different than ourselves, um, and when we encounter situations that are very different from our own personal experiences, which plays out in curiosity, right? And so we enter situations with a desire to be curious and to learn more. And there's a favorite quote of mine, and now is yours, and that judgment and curiosity cannot live in the same space. And so if we enter into our spaces with genuine curiosity and we leave our judgment behind, we're far more likely to be able to learn from the perspectives of others. Which brings us to that notion of benevolence and love, right? And so that if we begin our conversations from a place of curiosity, then we can uh, allow, uh, create a space where love and kindness can grow. Which leads us to that uh, final, um, that final uh, graphic, um, uh, the graphic of justice, and that um, all of our work has to be focused on justice. Um, and, and in doing so, we will advance the public trust. Excellent. The NPA program here is accredited by NASPA, and as a result, we embody their competencies and their student learning outcomes. Um, and so this will be ingrained in all of your courses, um, as well as having a course specifically dedicating to, dedicated to diving deep um, in how you've acquired these competencies. Um, and I'll just freeze right through them lead and manage in the public interest, contribute to and participate in the public, the public policy process. We need you to be able to analyze and think critically to solve problems um, and make evidence-based informed decisions. Uh, we also would like for you to be able to articulate, apply and advance the public service perspective. That's a tricky one. Um, and then lastly, and, and most holistically, we want to communicate and interact productively with a culturally and ethically diverse um, Synastry and workforce. Thank you, Marla. And so it is a tricky one, the public service perspective, but I think that if you remember the things that we really care about, the things that you care about, the reason that you became interested in public service in the first place, that to be able to advance a public service perspective should be, it should easily flow off of your tongue. So there's a basic overview of our mission, our values, our, the things that we care about, and the competencies and learning objectives that uh, guide the work that we do here from a curriculum and from an applied perspective.